Schiphol has the um, had the goal of being the big the biggest airport in Europe. They did that. They wanted to be the airport that handled the most number of passengers per year. They did that. Now they're really focusing on how can they have the best customer experience. And one of the things, of course, to have the best customer experience is you have to help people when they're inside your airport. We're going to assume they actually found the airport and they could get inside. And so clearly the, one of the biggest things is when you're inside an airport, is how do you find your way around? Because every airport is different, and Schiphol is a, is a big airport. It's a big one. Yeah. So, so yeah. So there you go. <clears throat> so the best customer experience. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about them now on the digital sharing and open data, but later, and when we talk about smart airports, we're going to talk about that one um, even further, which is really exciting. And this whole I I indoor wayfinding and navigation, um, they built their own apps. Okay. Um, and we'll see those later. Now, some of the challenges, of course, that everybody has, if you're working with data, the challenge everybody has is data quality. And um, IT architecture, of course, things are moving so fast. We're often, um, you know, stuck with older IT architecture. Okay. So the workflow, again, source all, bringing all the source data together, validating it, enhancing it, making sure the quality is right, and then building the routing and navigation floor plans and points of interest and all the shopping information that they got so that at Schiphol, Steph would be able to find her, um, her Carche store. And um, yeah, I don't even know if she likes Carche. I'm just making this stuff up. Who doesn't? That's right. So, and then they, they're distributing it to a variety of uh, mapping systems. Okay. So here's some of the apps they have. So you can see the Schiphol Wayfinder. That's their own app that basically helps you um, understand the time. You can see they have a little AR app there. So as you're walking down, you can kind of see there's a car shape scarf on there for 15 bucks. So that's a real deal. Um, yeah, and things like that. You can see the, um, you can get directions to the gates and you can see an overview. And basically the idea is with your mobile device, you should be able to find um, your way around their airport. So that's um, thing. Um, <clears throat> some of their goals is to create a digital twin. And again, we'll see that we talk about smart airports. And the nice thing about a digital twin is now you can start to run simulations and you can get more time. When you have real time sensors in your digital twin, you can now start to see what's going on in real time. You can also start to leverage crowdsourcing um, things for, hey, this water fountain's broken. Oh, this floor here is um, slippery. This escalator broke and, um, and things. And of course, it's spatial and tabular data, like everything. Okay. Yeah. So um, if you want to learn a lot about Skipple, there's a whole webinar on just Skipple. And um, I hope I say that right. Skipple, did I say that right? Oh, I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> and they said that... Um, FME is the ETL glue between geo platforms that help keep their systems up to date and the same. So that is a really quick overview of indoor mapping at Schiphol.